Yeah, so clearly this one is a bit of a flex, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. I had a lot of fun doing it, and I hope that you will too. Drex here from Drex Factor Poi, bringing you Poi Spinning and Flow Arts to benefit your body and brain, and today I am giving you a combo tutorial about one of the movement phrases that I threw into my Bad Liar video from earlier in the week. Before we dive in, of course, I just want to give a quick shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Flow Fests, Flow Toys, Pyroterra Light Toys, LMF Props, Spinballs, and UltraPoi for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You can learn more about all these amazing companies and the work that they're doing to support flow artists like yourself by checking out the links that I've got down in the description of this video. Wow, so there were so many inspirations behind this combo from some of the original ideas behind body tracing to things like uh, being able to do dime stops and everything. Uh, and it is one of my favorite things that I've written in the past few months and uh, I'm happy to be sharing it now with you all. So first up, prerequisites here. Now there's a lot of stuff that I'm doing in here but a lot of it is stuff that we're going to be learning just for the purposes of this combo. So the things that it would be helpful to have underneath your belt as you're learning this are, of course, uh, the two-beat thumb-led meteor weave as well as the four-beat thumb-led reverse meteor weave. Uh, we're going to waist wrap back and forth between those two to start things off, and knowing how to do a one-handed spiral wrap is going to be really helpful as well. And beyond that, I am pretty sure that the only other thing that you really, really want to know is how to do stalls. Um, yeah, it's really not that many tricks in the grand scheme of things. It's really just more jumping around, right? So I'll go ahead and include links to tutorials on how to do all these different tricks down in the description so you can go catch up or up in the cards if you happen to be watching this on YouTube. I will show you the combo at full speed, then take you through it step by step, and finally show it to you again in slow motion. Wow, so what got in my head on this one? Well, the first thing was just that I kind of was playing around with this idea of like, um, in Levy One, they refer to this as like illusion hand stuff, where you're bringing the other hand in as though it has an impact on what your business in hand is doing and everything. And I played around with a lot of different variations on this from like, home, like a giant mouth eating the poi and everything, all the way to uh, this idea of like having an impact that comes in from the side and everything. And really what I knew I wanted to have happen was have the hand land, boom, right as the spiral wrap completes and everything. Uh, there, there's, it's almost like a little bit of punctuation that's happening right, boom, there, right? And it serves to kind of like uh, be a little exclamation mark at the end of that sentence, if you will. So the first part of this that you need to do is if you just start off with your two beat thumb lead weave and everything, you're going to do a weave over to your reverse thumb lead side. And then as you come back and wrap the poi, you bring in that hand as though it's like coming from the middle of nowhere and then boom, have it contact with your hand right as that spiral wrap finishes. Um, this could actually be a thing that helps you out in doing the spiral wrap because, of course, if your spiral wrap happens to come in a little sloppy and everything, there might be a piece that falls off of it. And if you have that other hand there to kind of brace it and everything, that's less likely to happen, right? All right, so next up. So I will fully admit that this next part just comes from having done a little bit of research in the past week about body tracers and discovering how much of it is based upon ideas from liquid dance styles. Uh, but basically, I kind of wanted to just take us back down to the basics of like running our poi, tracing along a line of the body and everything as we keep that spiral wrap going. Basically, it traces up from your left hip around back behind your head and back down. And I'm trying to like put in towards the feeling of this. It's supposed to be very, very slow and gooey, like you're moving through molasses and everything. Like it may not necessarily be a pleasant process doing this tracer and everything, but when you get out to the other side and everything, you've got just a second before, boom, 
you release those poi into a horizontal plane. So this is one of those great things about spiral wraps that when you complete the wrap, you can switch it into another plane if you want to, which I freaking love about them. Um, basically, in order to exit on a horizontal plane, you want to make sure that your spiral wrap is as tight as possible entering into it and everything, and you want to make sure that you're like pointing your fingers straight down towards the ground. You're going to have to do this pretty quick like because there's a risk that the poor you're going to fall off your hands when you do. So think orientation change and boom, you are doing the kind of uh, little twist of your wrist right away to get them back out. Okay, so when you exit that spiral wrap, you're going to switch into a pinky lead corkscrew with just one hand. Um, the idea here is you're going to pull the pinky end above and then the thumb end above. Pinky end above, thumb end above. Pinky end above, thumb end above. And you're going to kind of step around in a shun a step as you're doing this and everything, right? Um, I am thinking that it is once, twice down uh, as you're completing one, two steps off to stage left and everything, right? Um, and very important, you want to kind of land this so as, as it would be your pinky and going uh, uh, right before you would take your thumb end over your arm for a third time, uh, what you're instead doing is you are, ugh, let me unwrap all this, pinky, thumb, pinky, thumb, and boom, you're kind of letting them both find their way to resting on your outstretched arm and everything. Altogether, that winds up looking like this, where we've got pinky, thumb, pinky, thumb. As I'm walking to the left, it goes pinky, thumb, pinky, thumb. We find the arm, and we wind up with our back to the camera. Okay, so we got here, and it was lovely, and our next step then is that I'm going to raise my arm to bring both of my poi back directly behind my head, and I am faced away from the camera here, right? Now, here comes the tricky part, because you have to do this blind. Basically, you're going to release the poi that's on your pinky end, and you're going to try and catch it with your other hand. Boom, dropping it straight down. Now, you don't want to just like have it slink down like that and everything. If you want to be super slick about it, your job is to try and get it to the point where you can, boom, just catch it like that, right? Just have it drop straight into that waiting hand and everything. This is going to take some trial and error. I don't nail it every time myself. I have to do multiple takes on occasion. Be sure to watch out for what happens if accidentally they get tangled behind your back because that's going to mess up the drop. But uh, basically, you want to be able to, boom, nail that catch. And when you feel it make contact with your hand, do a quick head check over to the side here, yeah? All right, now from here, we're going to take a quick tour jeté turn over to our left. Right foot, left foot. We come around and do ourselves, I think it's a windmill. And then coming out of that, we... Boom, stall the left hand poi straight up and the right hand poi down. How does that work? Well, since I'm spinning clockwise, face away from the camera and everything, my right hand poi goes down, my left hand poi goes up, and I come into this place where they're spinning counterclockwise, and my left hand poi is going to stall up, my right hand poi is going to stall down, and then I drop my left hand poi. Now, what my feet are doing during all this is that as my left hand poi goes up, Boom, so does my left knee, and as I come down with the left, my left foot steps behind my right, and my focus changes downward, right? Cool, now from here, boom, I do a head check right up, and that is my cue to pull the poi back out. This is like they're coming out of a stall and everything, and I do a quick jump out to the side as I do a stall, which I think looks really cool. I go, Boom, right, left. So it's basically like another tour jeté and everything. And once I get over here, I finish it up by wrapping the poi around my hands and using that momentum, boom, to wrap my hands around myself as well to finish it off rather dramatic-like. So let's see all that from the start, shall we? All right, so I start with my meteor weave and I switch over into my four beat reverse. I come back and boom, I close down the spiral wrap. I trace my hand up around my head all slow like. When I get to the bottom, note I'm propping the poi against my body to keep the uh, spiral wrap from unwrapping. Boom, I switch into that horizontal and I think pinky over, thumb over, pinky over, thumb over. I let them rest on my upper arm, bring him back behind me as I face away. 
boom, I drop into it, my waiting hand and do the head check. I do my door jeté, windmill, come around and boom, stall and down. I look up and I spread out another tour jeté, wrap them around my hands, boom, to finish it off, yeah? Cool. Let's watch that again in slow-mo. So there is so much in this combo that I love from the like changes in tempo to the kind of boom, boom, boom head check moments and everything to the jumps. It's very expressive and uh, I would love to see your version of this. Please post a video of yourself doing this combo to Instagram and use the hashtag DrexFactorPoi so I can come check it out. If you want to be featured in my Instagram stories, you can also post to your stories and tag me. I am DrexFactor on Instagram. And I will repost your version of the combo to my own story so that all of my followers can see your hard work. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe so that other people can find this video and learn from it. And finally, a quick thank you because this video would not be possible without the kind contributions of these nice folks right here. These are my wonderful supporters on Patreon and they make this video and all the videos on this channel possible. Uh, if you are enjoying the work that I'm doing and you would like to sign up to support it, which I would really appreciate, but uh, no judgment if you can't, head on over to patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi and sign up. You can get early access to all of my content as well as a say in what topics I tackle in the future. Plus, uh, sometimes I post some extras or behind the scenes stuff there. So you should check that out. Cool. So I'll be back next week with a tutorial on how to do another combo from that bad liar flow video. Uh, until then, have a great time and I hope you enjoy learning this one. I certainly enjoyed writing it. Peace.